So, you know, apparently, um, the guy lived there at the house. He lived there. He just broke up with the rapper girl. Fuck. Just broke up with the rapper girl about a week before that. I don't even think it was a week. I think it was a few days, really. And, uh. I don't think he still had the key to the house. Still, his name was, his name was still in the lease. Uh, you can't kick people out right away. You have to at least give them 30 days. I know that's the rule when you're in the lease. So, um, it's fucked up that, you know, he got caught, sleep at the house, dude woke up, beating, he walked in the house, beating her up. Then he shot him when he tried to intervene with the fight. So my thing is this, you know, you're a successful rapper. Successful rappers have nice houses. Successful rappers have money. Successful rappers have money for a fucking hotel. All them fucking, all them fucking hotels in Atlanta, my nigga, and you couldn't take her to a hotel. You had to go to her house, man. Like, that's what I understand. Like, you get, you get caught slipping that bad. You go to her house instead of going to a hotel. You got the money for a hotel. You want to take her to your house? Okay, cool. You have the money for a hotel. Man, niggas just be drunk, man. Niggas be on too much shit. Niggas don't be thinking. If I had the money, I took her ass to a hotel, really did it. I would have felt more cool. I would have felt more um, at ease doing it at a hotel. I would have felt like, you know, especially, you know, if I got the money, I'm getting a double security hotel where you, know, you got the key to get up to the elevator. You got to have a key to get in. You have nigga, cameras everywhere. Yeah, bruh. It's going to be hard for you to, to pull that there. And the door is locked. So... I mean, that just made much more sense to me than going to her house and, you know, she's kind of scandalous because she didn't, I, I don't know, she even applied the situation. I'm pretty sure she told the situation, but, you know, some niggas just be like, fuck it. But that was just the one, that was just the one bad time in life to say fuck it. That was the one bad time in life to say, fuck it, I'm just going to go to the apartment no matter where it's at when I had money for a hotel. You know, it looks like he was having a good time on IG. I went for some drinks. Cool. Take her ass to the motherfucking hotel and flip her there. You know, I'm pretty sure he was naked. She was naked. He's in there just drunk, naked, in the next man's bed. It's all bad, nigga. I don't give a damn how these niggas put it. Nigga, you drunk and naked in the bed that I bought. Well, you know, according to her, she bought everything. But it's a bed that I slept in. A coffee machine where I was getting coffee at still in there. With TVs, everything still in there. Man, a nigga is going to be tripping. Now. I mean, like, it's hard to really justify and say that, oh, a nigga's a simp because... He, me, y'all don't know the whole situation. And most of y'all niggas been, it been, it, it, most of y'all niggas in the situation, especially in California, y'all niggas gonna do the same damn thing. I seen it happen over and over again, bro. I see niggas get caught, they, I see niggas get caught at a nigga's baby mom house. He don't even mess with the baby mom. That nigga just get caught at the baby mom's house, get stripped butt naked. Slapped in the head with a pistol, money took. So, you know, it's not even cool to go to baby mama's house. Note in mind, if you ever have money as a rapper, always, I don't give a fuck how fine she is. I don't give a fuck what she look like, nigga. I don't give a fuck what her house offers, none of that shit. You feel me? Unless you know that she's a nerd, or something, and she ain't got nothing going on, take her ass to the motherfucking hotel, man. 